enough enough talking we have to go to the next song very pleasing where is the next song eh? i'm sure i put it somewhere here it was 14 bs here we go 14 bs planeta sonio that's what you want to do that's what you want to see if you see this video blurred I do like live versions, but I think for those bands, it's also interesting always to see the older. Uh, this is, by the way, a link that you sent. I don't know exactly who you are, but you sent it and I clicked on it because that's what you do. What's up with that bass, man? That bass looks like extremely long. Is it just a... Is it just a position? Look at that! Maybe it's just a camera. Maybe it can be the... The wide angle. That actually on the corners tend to stretch things. Because that neck of the bass looks strangely long. Just saying. Must be the lens. You're slow, people, you're slow! Computer, do what I tell you to do, okay? Already Google is just uh, nosing inside our reactions all the time. Uh, at least you do your job, okay? When I press the space bar, please. And also, actually, compared to the song that we did this morning, uh, I, I had a completely different vibe. Th that song was much more rockish, rock prog. It reminded me also even a, a little bit of Black Sabbath, even, you know? And here, that is totally gone this is much more super tramp uh this is much more like uh um uh what's the light orchestra again i forget the, the name there's much more this kind of like uh popish upbeat uh happy disco even a little bit of a habba going on you know here and there so totally different that way the vibe is completely uh, gone that little bit darker Rock and roll. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> I always think now, now that I know more, more or less, I know a little bit more. I wonder also those bands, like, uh, were, were they targeted by the censorship, you know, or because maybe they wrote in a more like abstract manner, they were left, uh, you know, free to, to do their thing. Because now I, I start to understand a little bit more. I, I start to be aware of the fact that there was dictatorship until the early 90s in Brazil. So must have been kind of very peculiar to be a famous artist and try to carry on any kind of freaking meaning that didn't collude or like go against what you were supposed to say you know for the government that's uh, that's uh
let's ask you let's ask google something hey google talk to me at least hello here's a matching video no i didn't want to do that hey google google why you don't talk to me anymore eh? you got offended because i'm mistreating you a little bit because you knows but then when i ask you you don't show up you have nothing to say against to defend yourself that's a very long pause google hey google can you say if i cough on youtube Bum, 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 bum. And this part of course it gets a little bit more rock and roll i think maybe it's also those type of synths going on the keyboards doing that part that makes it a little bit more kind of a pop uh, popish disco um i don't know maybe because i was expecting a different type of prog rock so that i sort of have to adjust to to this for a moment you know so it's always the the case i thought maybe uh, i was going to listen to something a little bit heavier with the different more like rockish progression uh and and this is a little bit like a definitely progressive uh but much more into that direction of uh yeah of super trump i suppose which is also pretty good maybe even a little bit rupanova but i suppose maybe rupanova came out i don't know if probably came up a little bit came out a little bit later than uh, 14 bis or maybe they were coexisting i don't know uh, I d actually don't remember if Rupanova was already around in the 70s but I see some similarities so it's kind of interesting to see also the connection in between Brazilian bands which were following certain waves you know so anyway a long pause a very long pause it was awkward yes it was awkward <laughs> Oh, top ping! all right okay definitely an interesting band a nice assemble uh, it'll be interesting to listen also to other songs we did a double reaction today uh definitely a progressive definitely a progressive band but you know this peculiar song you know both of them actually were kind of uh uplifting happy so i wonder if also i'm, I'm curious to listen to other things with different sound also depends if this was part of a, a specific album you know that was sort of following this whole theme with these old type of sonorities so it'll be also just interesting to see the differences in between album perhaps like i said i'm a great fan of king crimson yuria Heap, uh, and yes so you know 
uh, I love progressive uh, concept albums as well. So if you know some of those bands, let me know also which one is your favorite song. And also go check if you want some of my songs if you want to all right i'll see you later it's been a pleasure as usual ciao <gasps>